Dear Mrs. Jonathan, I wonder if you wake, faced with a pulsing penis between your eyes and hands wrapped around your throat when you breathe. Do you inhale the dry sweat on uniforms of men who wear loyalty in the same vein the devil holds sin? Is your body a template for predators to salivate, to form at the mouth over? Do they think filthy thoughts? For I have seen their pictures. 35 men. The amount taken to etch my country into history for the wrong reasons, 35 in favour, leaving you and I stained. Mrs. Jonathan, you are every girl in the womb of scared mothers, counting down days before people in power have superseded their desires. Although time has swallowed your youth, do you still recall memories for these children? Are they fruitful? Did you at any point run the field bare feet and bottomed? Have you sat on your uncle's lap, sucking on candy handed to you? Were you a good child? Do you think these children at your current age would have fond memories of their childhood? Mrs. Jonathan, you choose to ignore this ill state my country is suffering from. How is spits in our face and we refuse to wipe? Are you not scared? Are you ashamed for these senates whose hands part young thighs? Hands that you shake, that feel young girls lubricate in fear. These girls, what would it may scar or burn? Their bodies protected by God. And if God spoke, he would say it's okay child. Their time will come. These girls with bodies not yet built for 40 year old urges. Do you think of these children within the company you keep? Would you raise your head high, hand on heart, and swear by law that rapes some of their innocence as if the residue of slavery spun webs around us, looping Nigeria into a time that's not quite 2000 and now, Mrs. Jonathan, Slave masters have reincarnated in your senators with eyes carrying a thirst for our children. They have fed their coven and shall take from loving families. They shall beat, they shall rape, they shall insult, they shall savage, they shall beat, they shall beat like we do drums. Each thud for every time they fuck up doing something wrong. How could they ever get it right so young? How could they be expected to think like adults at nine? Such myth like grabbing air for support, Mrs. Jonathan. Thud. Thud to the girl for being naive. Thud for not greeting him as he enters. Thud for forgetting his pure water. Thud for wanting to keep her clothes on and not allowing his beasting hands to rip them to shreds. Thud for resisting, for trying to keep her legs closed, for crying for not enjoying his panting, musky breath and chest hairs, for wanting to go to school, play, learn, kick dirt, have confused crushes, stain her clothes. Thud, Mrs. Jonathan, thud. For these men have considered laws to upset girls at eight and 13. Will you sit as their underage wives serve you food? Will it swallow well? How will you feel when your husband no longer sees the youth in your eyes?